Hi, Brody. How you doing? All right. So, I, you know, I'm taking a look at this, and, you know, the, the work is interesting. There's no question. I, I think it's got some potential. However, it's not applicable to the parameters of this assignment. And let me just kind of tell you why that matters, okay? So this isn't just an exercise in typography. And it's a type, it's an exercise in creating meaning using type in conjunction with color. And it's really important to stick to those, those basic guidelines because we are indeed learning to make connections between type, the, the message, the typeface chosen, and the color you intend to use in the composition. Those all have a lot to do with the underlying value of meaning. Okay, so by adding an image, you are completely changing the meaning of the composition. And it's, it's not a bad thing. It's, in many cases, it's a fantastic thing. Conversely, you've added images. Okay, there's fire behind lust and some kind of red candy cane behind love, which is fine in and of itself. I think lust, I think expressing the word lust with fire is, is fascinating. I love it. But again, it's not applicable this is to this assignment because in this assignment, we are communicating solely with type and color. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to resubmit for the final submission and this time change some things. All right. Um, I think this is interesting. It's a lot of lust, not a lot of love. It's good alignment for the most part. Things are pretty well aligned here on the right, uh, the right margin. This kind of type on a, on, on a path is, is really interesting. Uh, this warped effect is really interesting. I recommend this. I recommend duplicating this effect on not a lot of. Okay, and then uh, lust and love, you don't have to add these kind of bloated filter effects on these. I think just this typeface, just regular typeface. I think that the combination of typefaces is very interesting. I think it's, but it, it, again, you're, but everything you add to a composition, you're adding to the meaning. And that's just the foundation of design. I mean, that's just how it works, right? So by adding this bloated type, uh, this puckered type here, or, or you know, you're adding additional meaning, which I don't think we need in this composition. Let me summarize. Only, okay, so it's a lot of that beautiful, beautiful, wonderful dimension, good depth, a lot of movement, really nice. But we're lacking a little bit of a rhythm here, and I want to establish that rhythm by uh, duplicating this. It's a lot of right here, not a lot of. So see how this has got a, it's on an arc down, um, of coming down and then back up, where this one is an arc. Uh, um, starting low, moving high, and coming back. So I'd like to duplicate that in the not a lot of. Then place lost and love, identical typeface, identical size, but only no images, just color, okay? Make sure that right alignment is tightly aligned, too. And then uh, I, at the rest, I mean, it's fantastic. So then what I want you to do at that point is, is just assign color here to the typefaces and the background, remove the images and, and all of the extra special effects, that, so to speak, that you have. Okay, so uh, otherwise, well, so don't get me wrong here. I think the piece is interesting. It's got a lot of merits to it, but it's not specifically addressing the parameters of the assignment, right? And that's important. Okay, uh, that's what I'd like to see moving forward. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.